Hello everyone. Today we will be learning Angular CRUD operation. Uh, the topic will be contact management system and here we will be creating a, a CRUD app uh, in uh, contact management system project. So uh, I am in my empty folder. So let us create a project first. So in empty folder, uh, first I will give you command prompt cmd and I will hit the code ng new contact management so we'll be creating the project which is our first step and uh, this is asking whether we want routing or not yes we will require the routing i'll give yes so project is been installing now uh, the packages are been installing in our project so let us wait uh, so our project is been installed so i'll go inside the project first cd contact management so i am in the right area now i will open the vs code directly from here code dot so let me open the terminal So first let me try to run the project. So the project has been building. So our project has been running at HTTP localhost 4200. So let me run and show. Okay, this is the default one. Uh, so let me remove the default one. Uh, so I'll go to HTML apart from this router out outlet I will remove everything and let me see so next step is we will be installing the bootstrap uh, here we will be not using any angular material or anything so using the simple bootstrap, we'll be doing the project. So let's install the bootstrap. So I'll go to bootstrap. Uh, not to on the bootstrap. So the first official website I have to visit it, get bootstrap.com. So after visiting there, I'll copy this link. I'll go to my VS code. I'll go to my index.html and above the head tag I'll paste the first link. So again I'll go, I'll copy this link and below the body I'll paste and save. So to cross check uh, bootstrap is installed properly or not, uh, I'll give a hello and check. You can see this is of bootstrap. So bootstrap is successfully installed now. So let me remove this. So I'll open a new terminal. So here we'll be creating some components. So our project is contact management system. So first very first component I'll be creating is contact list. So ng g for generate c for component uh, and inside the component folder i have to create and that is contact list so contact list uh, component has been created uh, we can see here so i have to route it now uh, so i'll go to my app routing module.ts yes so uh, let me set the routing for this so path path will be contact list and component will be Uh, 
component will be yes contact list component so this got auto imported uh, when I fetch this I'll copy it yes we can see contact list works so routing has been set for contact list component so now I'll be working on this contact list component itself So first I need a nav bar here. So in comments to understand it, uh, I'll write nav bar. So blue color nav bar uh, I'll be using it. So I'll be using div class equals to nav bar nav bar expand. These are all the bootstrap classes you can learn if you want. Uh, primary primary because we want blue color uh, and then uh, like um, I want a heading tag uh, before that I'll use a container fluid class equals to container fluid uh, after that I'll use a h1 tag and I'll give content management system crud. Contact management crud. Uh, let me save it and check. Mm, okay. uh, we'll be doing the changes now. As of now, it's not looking so good. Uh, so on the h1 uh, I'll give style uh, color I will require white itself uh, font size let it be someone around 24 pixel font size I'll keep 24 pixel mm, yeah uh, and here I need one button add content button uh, that I'll be doing so um, after that I need a button as well uh, this is a bootstrap button simple one uh, add contact so let me give class equals to btn btn uh, success green color button i can use okay let me see so let this button be inside this view so let me put this button inside another div still button is here let me see so let me make this name and save so let me close the div here somewhere around wait so I'll take a div here see so I think our container spelling uh, is wrong so let me make it proper yes now we can see uh, add contact so we require the image so let me name it as image section image section left side will be having the image uh, so let me 
take a div class equals to container fluid uh, I need a row class equals to row after that uh, I'll use div class equals to call smy and I'll take div class equals to image so a image I need actually so I have a, already an image I will give the link below so this link I have of one image so I will copy this a description I will be giving that src equals to uh, this is the path of that image uh, or a link Let me close this and save. Uh, so this image has come. Uh, I'll be setting the CSS for this image. So let me go to contact list component of CSS. So dot image width 600 pixel will keep. margin top uh, let it be 85 pixel mm, yeah, uh, I will use, be using a class mm, what is this CSS equals to Uh, here one table will come now I'll be creating a table so let me go to bootstrap so let me comment and give where table will come will be coming because we can understand it later table will be coming here So I'll go in, I'll do it is the first link of the get bootstrap official website. So oh, let me see which table we can take. Okay, this simple one table borderless table I will be taking. I'll copy this, paste it here. table has come below let me check mm, okay. I didn't give the row uh, row I have given this class I have didn't give so now I will give the class div class equals to call sm let it be 7 table uh, table thing I will paste it here inside this uh, so we can say instantly table has come here so little margin top I will give by CS, uh, this one bootstrap class empty to let okay uh, so next thing is uh, changing this uh, first I need first name so 
first name and then I require the last name and then we'll be requiring phone number Contact management system and request city. We can replicate this only. City. And after that, action I will require. So this is dummy data mm, I'll be removing. Let me keep it as like mm, all this thing extra I don't want for me. This has been created. So after this, now next is like add contact. Um, so let me let me create some components uh, which are required in our project. So ng g4 generate save of component and it will be add contact. So add contact component has been created. You can see add contact. So I'll keep the routing now. So app routing model dot TSL go first. So here path add contact component add contact component. Okay. Uh, after this, I'll go to my contact uh, contact list component, and here I'll be keeping a router link. A router link that is add contact. So if I go click on add contact we can see i'm going to the add contact page so i'll be winding up this much only this section so next video uh, will be adding the contact here i will be creating the things to add the uh, contact and we'll be looking on the validation part as well and after that uh, we'll also be creating login logout as well so thanks for watching this part one video thank you hello everyone uh, welcome to the second part of contact management system project so uh, last I mean, last project uh, last video we have learned how to make this page and we have also kept the routing on this and now we will be designing this page uh, so first I will go to my add component.html uh, first we will do the designing part uh, so uh, here uh, I need a image and here I needed box mm. so let me remove this our default one So let me take a due first. Uh, so I'll take due class equals to container void. Uh, after that, I'll take a row class equals to row. Uh, after that, uh, let me take due uh, class equals to um, call sm5 because the uh, image will be coming at the left side, so that much we space we want. So uh, let me take a class for image due class equals to image uh, after 
right uh, image uh, uh, let me use the uh, image type image src equals to so for the image again i have already one image link so this also i will be giving the description uh, as i given in the first video as uh, for that so this is a different one so link i'll be pasting it here uh, in the description so same link also you can use or different also you can use so class equals to image fluid a bootstrap class after closing this i'll save mm, so we can see images come a little bit design is pending uh, we can uh, design it using css so uh, I'll use this class image I'll copy this paste in here pasting it here uh, so width uh, I'll use uh, width let it be 600 pixel uh, after that I need uh, like a uh, font size also not font size or margin top I need margin top uh, from top I'll give 85 pixel and save uh, we can see uh, from margin top uh, it has come down and width also has increased so here our form will come so again I'll go back mm, go back to HTML uh, let me name here otherwise we will get confused we will comment in the uh, image section uh, this is one of the image section so now next is form section form section So here um, again I take div class uh, equals to call md6 uh, bootstrap plus a uh, bootstrap form will be using uh, that we can copy and paste here uh, let me use div class equals to card for that box after that uh, heading I need add contact I'll use add contact and after that I'll use a row do class equals to row after that uh, here I, I need the bootstrap form and CSS will be giving after that this will become properly so let me go bootstrap form so first link I'll go I'll copy this and paste it here and save ok it has come we will be giving the CSS as well so uh, we need little spacing so mb margin bottom i'll use mb1 and our first field will be first name anyway not email first name the same thing will be replicating uh, this i'll remove and i don't need this as well and further if we are doing validation we can do a different type as well using directive form validation or something else uh, so okay uh, let this be text uh, this i don't need and here i will be giving enter name and i need a like a uh, name wait i need for name uh, first name last name phone number city 
so this was first name this is for last name So let me change the name. Uh, this will be last name. Uh, second will be phone number. Phone number. And last one will be city. So let me go to CSS part. So here. Mm, I use dot card uh, top let it be 60% left let it be 40% width I want 435 pixel um, padding 31 pixel pixel transform translate minus 50 percent minus 50 percent uh, border also I need border one pixel solid black so we can see our form after applying css h5 now what is h5 h5 is basically over this one add content uh, for that uh, width um, let it be 600 pixel and margin top let it be 85 pixel okay margin top I don't need uh, let me go back font size only has increase because margin top is already given font size uh, let it be 21 pixel okay here I need a back button then I'll go. I'll take a div. I'll put this inside this div. I'll take a class text center. So it has come here. I need another button. this let it be back and let this be success let it space okay, let me check okay a uh, little margin top also I need step class again okay for this back I'll keep router name uh, let me see my router so it is like now we are in the add contact and this will be contact list When I click on back, we can see we are going to the uh, this one contact list page. So we'll be using a reactive form. Uh, so I'll go to app model.ts here. 
uh, let me import reactive form uh, import reactive forms model so this i'll be copying and here i'll be pasting it below and let me okay let me cancel this now for every field we need a form control name so form control name equals to for first one uh, it is first name uh, for everything will be copy for this it will be last name giving enter last name uh, third one will be uh, this I'll type will be number it will be phone number phone number and enter phone number phone number and here it will be city so enter city name so comment okay i'll save So here I need form group. Form group, and it will be a contact form. This will be uh, I'll be doing later because now we'll be getting error. First we'll uh, do in component side. Okay. Now first I'll uh, import something. So here constructor, uh, I am not finding constructor here. Oh, wait, first implements on and it. Let me copy. So we are getting some errors. Okay, uh, error is gone because ng one and two was not there. So this I will remove. So my form will be contact form. So contact form. form group uh, so I have to import something like import form builder and all uh, import form builder then form group This boat I have to import, and our constructor also we need, uh, which is not there. Constructor inside it private form builder. It will be form builder. So from Angular forms. Mm, we are getting some error. Okay. It 
let me check mm, let this be any this form so our form is contact form so here this dot contact form equals to this dot form builder dot group this is so our first thing is first name first name so i'll also be using validators first name uh, after that um, uh, it will be last name phone number and city last name this will be phone number and last thing will be city and I'll go to add contact.html and here form group contact form I'm sorry so I'll be creating a function uh, called it submit So again, I'll go here on this submit part. On click, submit contact. So this function will be using on click. So in this part like we will be capturing the values only and next part we will be implementing the JSON server and everything uh, the API part. So here I uh, will console and see. Log dot contact form dot value. I have to see the values. So let me inspect. I'll go to console. So let me give some dummy value ABC. Yeah. And city, uh, let it be Mumbai. And when I submit, oh wait. It's not getting submitting because I have done on click, so it should be click. So let me try again. So let me try now. So on click I change to click uh, test uh, some dummy number and test. So form has been submitting but uh, when we submit the uh, data is not resetting. So again I will go. So here, uh, 
this dot contact form dot reset values reset function to reset the values and let us let me check so uh, let me give test here test of phone number some dummy and test okay when we submit data has been resetting so this is working fine so uh, only this much for this video part so next video we'll be sending this data in the json server and we will also be showing the data which we sent here so till then stay until next video comes so thanks for watching this video please like and subscribe so hello everyone uh, welcome to the part 3 of uh, content management system card operation uh, in the last part of the video like we have learned um, how to create this uh, both and like how to submit value and like when we submit a value um, how to see in the console uh, we have seen this so next part like uh, we'll be doing uh, the api part so first i'll go to my add component html uh, so my form name is uh, contact form so I'll disable if it is invalid. This dot contact form. Dot invalid. So whenever values are empty in this box, uh, this button will be disabled. So when I type some values, the time this button will be enabled. So first, uh, let me create a model. So let me create contact model dot ts. And I'll click on contact model of TS here. So here export class contact first name. It will be string then I have last name. After that, I have phone number and city. We have phone number and city. Phone number. And it will be of type number. And city. Type string. And we'll also have the ID. Of type number. So uh, we'll be installing the JSON server. So let me open a new terminal. We'll go to my Chrome and I'll type first JSON server. After typing that first link I'll visit. And let me come below, scroll below. You have to just copy this link and paste it here in that new terminal so first we will install the json server so json server has been installed then we have to run this command copy this and run this command and this will be running at localhost 3000 copy You can see it is running on localhost 3000. So now whenever we submit, like I have to go to this page, contact list page. So I'll be going to the add component of TS. 
so after submitting data i have to go there so private router router yes and this gets auto imported so here this dot router dot navigate we need some path so our path was uh, i'll go to the routing module.ts So now we are at add contact page and I have to go to the contact list page. So I'll copy this. And paste it here. And let me save. So let me give some dummy data. Test. Test. And phone number some dummy. Test. When I submit a data, uh, I am going to this page. Contact management, uh, the main page, the contact list page. So this has been finished. So now next thing is I need a API. Uh, so now uh, let me open a new terminal. NG, G for send, generate, S for service, and the service will be API. So our API service has been created, you can see here. So let me go to appmodel.ts. So let me import HTTP client model from at angular slash common slash http so let me copy this http client model and put in the import side i'll save it so let me go to my api service here private http http client so this will get auto imported so first we'll be doing the post method post method and that will be add contact data uh, data should be same as uh, what we have done here contact model that is this is contact so same contact i'll use here contact i'm sorry contact model what imported so i don't need this uh, let me keep it as contact only and this I'll remove import contact from let me fetch where it is present slash component so here our content model is being present so second thing is like i have to save here so here 
written this dot http dot post contact so we will be using the json server link of the post so first click on the post copy this and paste it here the parameters data and let me save it so now let me go to add component.ts here private api api service so api service got auto imported so this l comment and key so on submit so here i need this dot contact form dot value I need data that is of contact so this contact got imported from the contact model so here I need this dot API dot add contact that will be data and I have to subscribe the data Take the response let me and let me copy this both inside here so it's throwing error because i didn't save let me save okay let me check now so when i put the data uh, like uh, let it be phone number let it be dummy city let it be mumbai and when i submit the data i am going to this page and we can see data is been posted so our post method is been working now whenever i post the data all the data get posted there so let me use the get function to render this data which is coming from here so let me go again go to the api service.ts so here let me like get method so let it be get contact return this dot http dot get will be contact array So I have to get that data from the post. So let me copy here. And paste and let me call the API in the contact list page. So let me close all the tabs. So here in contact list page here. Uh, so I have come here. Uh, so first uh, i have to like uh, in the constructor we have to uh, call the api service uh, which is rendered first here you implements on nnet and second thing 
I have to use ng on init ng on init so I need a constructor as well so here let me use constructor private API API service so API service called auto import it so let me so let me create a get contact function get contact this dot api dot get contact so let me subscribe take the response this dot data equals to response so data i have to define data um, that will be like undefined it will be the contact and contact will be getting imported from here let it be contact array let me save and then i'll go to the uh, list component.html so let me use the ng for loop now so here i'll be using ng for ng for let item of data so here let it be item dot first name item dot first name second one is item dot last name third one is item dot phone number and then item dot city item dot city uh, and here two buttons will be coming so for that buttons i have to use the font or some buttons so first let me go to app component.html uh, not app component uh, index.html so font or some link i will be using uh, i'll be giving you in the description below uh, i have this font or some link so let me copy directly and i'll paste here above and save and let me go to uh, the contact list component so here uh, let me use the font or some type buttons uh, so i class equals to fas fa edit and little space i want and this will be trash for delete and we need the button uh, like uh, i need the color also so let me give the class uh, or style i'll give the style directly here color let it be blue and that another color let it be for trash let it be delete
the right and let me go to the component list uh, contact list component.ts and I have to call this function in ng1 in it this dot get contact And we can see that data has been rendering here. So I'll show you again. Let me put a phone number. City, let me input and submit the data. And we can see data has come. So our um, add contact and like display contact has been showing now. Uh, it's been working so next video will be working on edit and delete and later we'll be looking for the login as well so as of now thanks for watching this video so stay till hello everyone uh, welcome to part 4 of contact management system right so in last video we had learned how to add contact and how to display the contact and now in this video we will learn how to edit and how to delete these entries so first uh, let me create an update contact component so i will go to the new terminal so let me create a component generate component inside a component folder update contact so new component will be created now inside our uh, component folder So we can see uh, update contact uh, component has been created. Uh, now let me define the routing for this. Path update contact component update contact component. So this word auto imported. So when I use update contact, the time I go to the update contact page. So before this, uh, let me uh, show how to delete the entries. So let me go. Uh, let me close all this because we'll get confused. Uh, first, I'll go to API service.ts. Here, let me make a delete method. Delete contact. Return this dot HTTP dot delete contact. Let me copy this, paste it, add a slash here, here id, number, so here plus id will come. So let me go to uh, contact list so this is for delete so let me create um, a delete function on this click equals to delete so let me copy this Paste it here. Start API dot delete contact. Uh, so here let it be um, ID number. Here let it be item dot ID.
let me subscribe response and after deleting let me alert contact deleted successfully so after deletion before uh, refreshing the page i want to get the data so i'll call the function get contact so let me test it we can see uh, contact deleted successfully and contact has been deleted uh, now let me work on edit so uh, let me close this uh, let me go to the app routing uh, routing model.ts here let it be this contact id not contact update content here i'll uh, be using the id so on contact list so let me use router link update content so here let it be uh, item dot id uh, so you can see when i click on uh, edit button uh, we can see this id number the number is coming uh, if i try to add and show uh, let, let it be some number and city let it be and if i edit on here you can see the uh, id is coming three so let me go back uh, so now i'll be using the add component uh, uh, this add component ui only in the update component so let me copy this paste it here let me remove this so let me remove all the form control name So let me create, uh, copy the same CSS and paste it here. Okay, we can see the same UI has come now because we have replicated. Here uh, I'll name it as update contact. Date contact. Let me name update. So let me import forms module. Google search it. Directly I'll copy and paste. In app module.ts. Copy. close it 
so let me uh, let me close all this and let me go to api service.ts and this is for fetching the data on edit edit here i'll use id number and below return this dot http dot get contact let me copy this same and here plus id and let me go back to update component of ts here implements on it so here let me use ng on init And above, I'll use constructor. Private API API service. So it got auto imported. So we'll be also using the activity route. Uh, private activated route activated route and it got auto imported so here this dot activated route uh, so we also need to use params so let me use params dot params dot subscribe params uh, I should use capital P So let me create a contact ID variable um, public contact ID and it will be of number this dot contact ID equals to param So this dot API dot fetch data this dot contact ID dot subscribe data uh, the contact. Uh, this is the same contact of the model and this will get uh, auto imported from the model itself and here let me use the arrow function this dot uh, let me create another variable uh, that is contact data public 
content data content equals to as content This dot content data is equal to data. So let me console and see console dot log data. So let me inspect first. So when I click on edit you can see uh, the details are coming so now i have to display here so let me go back if i click on edit here uh, details of this are coming so let me go to the html part so here we'll be using a ng model so ng model equals to contact data dot first name name equals to first name uh, we can see uh, when I brought this uh, I can see the name so for all this we will be doing uh, if I click on the second one uh, you can see his name is coming so let me use for all the fields last name last name phone number phone number let this be city Uh, we can see all the entities has come all the data has been come on edit so for update uh, I'll create a function so copy this and content component dot ts let me paste so again i'll go to the api api service dot ts and this will be for the update update contact So here let it be data that is contact and id let it be number dot http dot put same thing I'll copy
me save it and let me go to update component.ts so here this dot api dot update contact this dot contact data contact id subscribe contact use the arrow function and after that i'll put a alert After updated, I have to route to the contact list page. Uh, so for that, I'll use a router private route. And this router got auto imported. This dot route dot navigate contact list. So let me make it as Pune and I'll update. You can see data has been updating. If I edit and make him as Delhi, we can see it has been updating. So our adding, editing, deleting, and updating has been working. So next video we will learn how to create a login page for this. Uh, so thanks for watching this video. Hello everyone, welcome to the part five of content management system thread. Uh, in the last video we had learned how to edit the data and how to delete the data. In this video, we'll be designing the login page. So first, I have to go to my VS Code. Uh, I'll be opening a new terminal. So let me create a component. ng and generate super component inside component folder. I have to create login sign up. So our component has been created. So let me set the routing for that. So I'll go to app routing module.ts. So let me give path. Component. Login sign up component got auto imported. So when path is blank, uh, redirect to login. Path match good. So whenever we come to the open the project, uh, whenever path uh, is blank or whenever we start a project, we have to go to the login page. Uh, so if I go and just localhost four hundred, uh, it's not coming because here I have to give login sign. So you can see the first page whenever we run the project at time this login page had to come. So let me do now. 
login and sign up i'll be designing and on the condition when login is open red time sign up will be highlighted and when sign up is open red time login will be highlighted like that we will be doing so first let me design the login so i'll take section class equals to 100 so let me take a container So let me take a row equals to row. So bootstrap class again I'll be using justify content center. Justify content center. Align item center. So let me use div. to call Sorry. let me use a card Class equals to call MD four LG six. So I have the image. So I have the image link. I'll be giving in the description below. So first image link I'll be copying and let me paste and let me use class equals to fluid. So you can see image has been come. So now we'll be doing the form side. Form section. Do class equals to call MD six. Call LG six align. center so let me use the div equals to card 
body four LG five. text black let me open so let me open div class equals to dflex align item center margin bottom 3 Heading bottom one. These are all bootstrap classes. So I'll be using the font of some cube here. So I have taken I class equals to face FP FP. So let me use style orange uh, so you can see the cube so I'll be using span tag and it will be login equals to W so I so let me use the H five tag H five and that will be sign into your account or login or login into your account so let me take a class w Normal three uh, let me use the style again. Uh, I'll be using after class, I'll be using the style uh, letter spacing. I need. Do class equals to form outline so let me use the label equals to form level and the first field will be 
email address input type equals to email form control control latch so same i'll replicate for the password password we can see here the field so let me design the button class So let me use a button. Button class dark. Button and that is login. So when we don't have a account, that time I have to redirect to the sign uh, sign up. P tech. Don't. So don't have an account. Now let me your class equals to I uh, let me take a anchor tag. Sign up here. Mm, let me use the style. Uh, style. Uh, so, col color. Let it be black. Uh, pointer. Uh, cursor. Let it be pointer. Let me close this speed tag outside. Now we can see here. So let me use first image fluid class. Uh, we have given this class here in the image tag uh, so height 100 percent uh, let it be 100 percent border radius let it be 10 pixel can see 
so in the section part on background i have to change so section um, background image property i'll use linear gradient minus 2 25 Zero percent nine. So for card, I'll give uh, I'll be giving the CSS. Border radius. Let it be five pixel. Again background image. Linear gradient. You can uh, keep any color which you want. So for sign up, now I'll be doing. Let me copy this complete. Sign up. So some things I have to change. So first image I will change. Uh, I have the second one image. I'll remove the default one, not default one, which is already present. So on condition, I will be hiding which. So this will be replacing sign up into your account. So fields I need a name, email, password. So on extra I'll use and this will be name. So replace this, uh, let it be already have account. This I will make as uh, sign up.
so now let me use the uh, so here let me create each show equals to So let me use the click function. Sign up. So let me use uh, ng first in this section. into ng issue So this is not issue because by default issue is false. So this becomes true because this I have to show by default. And for this I have uh, kept uh, issue because we have to hide it uh, in the first condition. So we can see the second one is hiding. So. Uh, so we can see when I click here login disabled and sign up comes so again if I click here login should come that I will do uh, let me create a function click login login this dot so you can see this is working so next video Welcome to part 6 of contact management system thread. So in the last video we learned how to make the UI of this. Uh, in this video we will be working on how to implement this login and how to implement this in a page. So first uh, let me go to my VS code. Uh, so first I will go to the db.json. So our project is already running. So this comments which is already present I will replace it to sign up. So because we need a sign up, I will save it. Uh, let me go to the login component of TS. Uh, before that I have to go to this uh, contact model of TS. Uh, so let me take uh, export class sign up. Uh, so in sign up we have name email and password so name will be string next we have email uh, email will be also string and we have password let me save it uh, let me go to the component.html uh, let me put the placeholders for all the fields uh, 
uh, from login to everything uh, so first here i need a placeholder enter your email id uh, let me copy I here let it be enter your password so it has come here um, placeholder I want to placeholder for this three fields as well it be enter your name Here it will be same enter your email id enter your password so next thing is i have to give the form control name uh, for this sign up so for first year i'll give form control name form control name equals to name Let me copy same. Let it be email. And last one will be password. Password. Uh, so I'll go to login company or TS. So let me give here implements on init. Implements on init. Oh, it's showing some problem. Uh, okay. Uh, the interface has been uh, uh, ng on it has been used. So I have to uh, make use of constructor. So let me use private form builder this form builder. So form builder got auto imported. Uh, I also need uh, oh wait, let me see. I require HTTP client as well. Private HTTP HTTP client. So this also got auto imported. So our form book name will be sign up form. So let me use sign up form. Of form group so form group also got auto imported here so let me go to the HTML in the sign up section let me use the form group to sign up form so below here uh, this dot sign up form equals to this dot form builder dot group uh, so we have uh, name, email, and password. So, name, validators dot required.
so I should make use of ventilators as well. So here V capital. So next one is email. The same thing I'll copy. And the last one is password. So let me create a button. Uh, let me give the function to the button and the sign up. Uh, let it be submit sign up. Click equal to submit sign up. Uh, I'll copy this. Go to login login.login.ts paste it here uh, so here uh, this dot uh, http dot post uh, here I'll make use of sign up because in our model dot ts uh, we have given the sign up so same thing I'll make use and after using that uh, sign up will be getting auto imported so in the JSON server the same sign up link I'll copy which we have created in a db.json and paste it here And let me subscribe as well Check the response wait uh, I'm not subscribe I need sign up form value as well this dot sign up form dot value and after this I'll subscribe the response and then I'll alert user signed up successfully And I have to reset the form as well. Sign up form dot reset. And another thing is, I will disable this button if the values are invalid. So let me go. Use the property disabled. Equals to this dot sign up form dot invalid. So you can see it is uh, disabled uh, as the values are. Uh, not that if I obtain something values uh, at that time it will become uh, undisabled or unable so let me refresh and try with the value uh, name let it be Jayesh and let me sign up you can see user signed up successfully and if I check in the sign up, you can see uh, this value is coming. So by this we can sign up and after sign up, uh, the user should log in with the credentials that I will be working on now. Because whoever the user has been signed up, the same user has to uh, log in and visit to the contact management uh, page.
so only that person can see the contract management list page so that i'll be doing um, after this uh, i need a, a login form so let me go to contactmodel.ts export class login for login we have only email and password uh, same i'll copy so let me go to the html part so this was the this was the sign up section below now this is login session so we are login button uh, let me give the click event let it be login user so same let me copy go to login component.ts just here so let me give the form control name for email and password form control name equals to email and here form control name equals to password so let me go to login component.ts uh, and here i have to change so this will be for login so login form form group dot login form equals to this dot form builder dot group so i have the uh, name and email um, both i can copy here let me see so let me go to login component dot html let me use form group login form again i'll go to uh, login component.ts so login logic will be writing in the login user itself uh, so this dot http dot get sign up not sign up login because we have login let it be login array let me check So here I'll be using the same. Let me subscribe. The response. So let me put a logic for matching email and password. password so let me take const user equals to let me 
use find method. So let me, I have to check the condition as well. So let me match it, uh, let me return a dot email triple equals to this dot login form dot value dot email and password equal to this dot login form dot value dot password so user is equal to uh, login uh, email value and password value uh, so after this uh, I'll check the condition condition for login uh, if user oh, sorry then I have to alert successfully logged in and this dot login form dot reset So let me use else. Let me alert user are not found with these credentials. If any problem in the server, if I disconnect the server that time, uh, something went wrong, I have to show server side. Something went wrong. Try after. Now let me check all the conditions now. Uh, reset button after this also I have to use. everything I have to use the reset button uh, only mistake I have done I guess uh, here it is, it is email and password I have done name and password uh, let it be email and this let it be password so let me check now uh, let me use the proper values I uh, will copy this Password is JS123. JS123. Uh, you can see uh, it's taking the value. Uh, if I uh, copy the email and type any wrong password, something like this, something wrong password, uh, that time it's showing that user not found with this credential. And if I stop the server, let me check. If I stop the server, copy this, paste and type some password it's, uh, it's showing us something went wrong try after some time so all these three conditions are working now so let me start the server once again json server positive.json so let me use here private 
router so this code auto imported router so here this dot router dot navigate it will be contact list uh, let me try so let me copy this okay now we can see we are going to the page contact list page so here I need a logout button as well. So let me contact uh, go to contact list HTML. Let me copy this. Let it be logout. use the warning hello button this is the push time so if I use logout button you can see we are going to the main page so thanks for watching this video hello everyone uh, welcome to the part 7 of angular uh, content management system correct so in last video we had learned how to log in and sign up the user and this video will be learning about the auth guard as well as local storage so first I'll come to my new terminal now project is been running so let me hit the command ng generate guard shared auth so we will be protecting the pages uh, now you can see I am the login page and if I type contact list I can go directly to the contact list page but this should not happen actually so I have to protect those pages if the user is uh, uh, already logged in or proper user is, is been logged in that time only I have to uh, allow the user to log in in the page. So it's asking us the options so I will give the can activate only first one. So in the shared folder uh, auth card uh, is been uh, created. Uh, first let me go to the login component uh, login sign up component. So uh, like this, uh, I have disabled this button when uh, values are uh, uh, values are not present. I have to also disable the login button when uh, no value is given. So um, uh, here is our login. So let me use the disabled property. Disabled uh, this dot uh, login. Uh, uh, I have given login form. Okay login form dot invalid so whenever values are not at uh, not there the time this will be disabled so you can see no values so this button is been disabled whenever the values come uh, this button becomes unable uh, so route uh, uh, route card is been created so first i'll go to my routing module dot ts not a route guard, auth guard is being created and now I will go to app routing module dot ts and I have to protect these pages. So without user logged in, I have to protect these three pages. So uh, let me give, can activate inside it auth guard. So auth guard got auto imported. Uh, same I have to give for all the pages. Uh, not all the pages, three pages. So I can copy this. And save. So after this, I have I should work on the local storage first now. 
because I have to save the data in the local storage and after that I have to put the logic so let me go to my sign up component of TS here so let me give storing data in local storage so when a user is uh, like a user is logged in that time I have to store the data in local storage storing data in local storage so let me use the property uh, let me use the local storage uh, dot uh, so I have to store so I have to use set item it will be login data so let me use uh, json dot stringify and it is user so let me check now um, let me open localhost 3000 and this I will inspect and keep uh, so I have to open the application here the data will be coming in the local storage uh, so for sign up I have registered this user you can see in local storage data is coming So let me now manually remove this data and on the logout I will uh, remove the data. So I will go to the contact list component of TS. Uh, so uh, I can see the logout button. Uh, let me check where is the logout button. Here our logout button is. So let me keep the click function. Click equals to logout so i'll copy this logout so let me use local storage dot remove item and it will be login data so by this we no need to remove it manually So let me show again. When I got instantly logged in, that time this data got, got stored in local storage. And if I log out, we can see data is in minus from local storage. So on this condition, let me uh, protect our uh, routes. So I'll go to the oddguard.ts where I have created here. So let me give the condition here itself. So if local storage dot get item login data. That time I have to return it true. Else it will be false and will be in login page. Else this dot. Um, so I have to use constructor as well. So let me use here constructor. private router so router got uh, auto imported here so this dot router dot navigate
and it will be false. So this else condition tells us uh, if we uh, type the any routes directly, that time I have to return to the home page itself. That is login page. So let me check now. So now value is not present in the local storage as per the condition. And if I type directly contact list page, you can see uh, we can't go to the contact list page and we are going to again home page itself. So if you want, we can alert also. this page without login so we'll understand it better so let me try now contact list you can see uh, you can't access uh, this page without login so let me log in now again So now value is stored in local storage and if I want to directly go to the add contact page we can go because we are already logged in. So by this uh, we came to know like uh, how to use the route, route and protect using the auth guard, how to protect these pages. And we also came to know like how to uh, store data in the local storage. So thanks for watching this video, please do like and subscribe. Hello everyone, welcome to part 8 of contact management system CRUD. So uh, in this part we will be learning how to create the 404 page not found. So whenever we uh, like whenever we insert a wrong any path anything that time I have to redirect to the page not found page. So this will be our last video. So first I need to create a component first. ng generate component inside component folder. I have to create uh, page not found. So our page not found component has been created. You can see inside the component folder, uh, we can see page not found. So let me close all this. So first I'll go to my app routing module.ts. Yes. Here, let me give the path for that. Path. Component. Page not found component. So page not found component got auto imported. So if I try to put any wrong thing, we can say I am going to the page not found page. Anything if I put wrong, we will be going to this page only, page not found. So only we are uh, doing it uh, in our project. So let me uh, now design using HTML and CSS. So image already I have. So let me delete this. Uh, I will be using image tag src equals to here the link will be coming and let me close it so for this i have image link already this also i will be giving the description uh, let me paste it inside this and save uh, we can see yeah for not for has come so again we have to design now so let me take class uh, let me take h1 plus no. First, I have to take h1 only. In fact, I will give a class. Uh, let it be error text. Error text class name. So, heading will be like. Oops. We can't seem to find. can't seem to find the 
at this source you are looking for looking for so let me take a p tag uh, here it will be please check that the website address is spelled correctly or not that i'll be writing please check that the website address is spelled correctly or not for this also i have to give class so class equals to text so let me take a div now i need a button here so i'll take a anchor tag Here it will be error, and the button will be uh, back. And I'll keep a router link as well. It's not capital. A router link equals to client, and it will go to our uh, login page. A class I'll give btn. So this will look different because uh, I haven't given CSS yet. So let me go to page not found component or CSS. So first for image tag, uh, display I'll keep block. margin left auto margin right auto so this has come here in the center so now for button text align center Next will be for text. Text align will be center. Font size twenty pixel. Margin bottom forty pixel. You can see here. So next for error text text align center padding 20 pixel font family I'll give you cursive you can see font has been changed next thing will be for this error error text has been finished now it will for uh, this class dot error so first i'll give font family uh, sorry uh, font family uh, let it be Roboto Sounds scary Font size Let to be 1.5 REM Text decoration none Uh, 
am adding 15 pixel background border radius 10 pixel mm, let me name this as btn1 because btn itself is a bootstrap class so here also I will change as btn1 and then let me check as we can see back button also has come in the center now uh, and now if I press back you can see I am going to the login page if I enter any wrong routes I will go to this 404 page so this completes the entire content management system project so thanks for watching video please like and subscribe the video thank you